from Campbell. We know it's quite difficult to come and see us at the moment, so we've sent out some home learning activities and one of them includes this scavenger hunt. And I'm going to read a short story and during this video clip I would like you to look out for some of the things in the pictures that we sent you. See, see if you can spot any of them as you listen to the story. And some of these things you might see outside when you go on your walk. Um, but we are going to talk about a little flower called the snowdrop, which we have lots of at Campbell. And if you are lucky enough to come and see us, you'll spot lots and lots of them in the woodlands at the moment. So the story I'm going to read is called The Snowdrop by Hans Christian Andersen and this is an adapted version. The snow lay deep, for it was winter time. The winter winds blew cold, but there was one house where all was snug and warm. And in the house lay a little flower. In its bulb it lay under the earth and the snow. One day the rain fell and it tickled through the ice and snow down into the ground and a sunbeam pointed, pierced through the earth and tapped on the ball. Come in, said the flower. I can't do that, said the sunbeam. I'm not strong enough to lift the latch. I shall be stronger when springtime comes. When will it be spring, asked the flower of every little sunbeam that rapped on its door. But for a long time it was winter. The ground was still covered with snow and every night there was ice in the water. The flower grew quite tired of waiting. How long it is, it said, I feel quite cramped. I must stretch myself and rise up a little. I must lift the latch and look out and say good morning to the spring. So the flower pushed and pushed. The walls were softened by the rain and warmed by little sunbeams. So the flower shot up from under the snow with a pale green bud on its stalk and some long narrow leaves on either side. It was biting cold. We're a little too early, said the wind and the weather, but every sunbeam sang, welcome. And the flower raised its head from the snow and unfolded itself pure and white and decked with green stripes. It was weather to freeze it to pieces, such a delicate little flower but it was stronger than anyone knew. It stood in its white dress in the white snow, bowing its head when the snowflakes fell and raising it again to smile at the sunbeams. And every day it grew sweeter. All shouted the children as they ran into the garden, see the snowdrop. There it stands, so pretty, so beautiful. The first, the only one.